Hi everyone. Okay, so we're going to do the sea urchin stone. This is one that's been completed already. It's very metallic, so I've got the flash on in my video. I don't have any other light on, but you'll see there is a bit of a reflection in the light there. Uh, but I will keep moving it so that you can see it from an angle, the pattern that we're doing. So with this stone, we're going to be looking at the sea urchins, how, how they grow, and they do grow from the centre out, but like mandalas. We're going to section the colours. First of all, we're going to put in some triangles of blue and purple. You'll see them underneath, and then we're going to decorate on top. Okay. So I'll just put that one to the side. If you can find a round rock, it looks particularly good because sea urchins are spherical. They are quite round. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to mark in the centre there, centre of my stone. I'm going to draw a horizontal line that goes across. And then I'm going to put in two diagonal lines. So I'm going to have one going this way, going through the centre. And I'm going to have one this way, going through the centre. And that just marks out where we're going to paint with our blue and our purple colours. So these are the colours that we're using here. I've got a wee bit of the white, blue, silver, purple and some pink for contrast. Okay, And uh, we've got some rogue bits of... It's actually wee bits of straw. <laughs> that got in there, I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my purple. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to wet my brush a wee tiny bit and I'm going to paint in that wee middle section. So I tend to always try to do the outline first and then I fill inside the shape, which I'll show you like that. If you need to steady your rock, that's fine. I'm just painting that on there. It's quite a porous rock, so it's going to absorb the paint quite well. And it's quite good to have a base because it means that your dots will have a surface that's a bit smoother. And remember just to do around the kind of bottom curve of your rock as well. Try and paint that in. So I'm just going to rotate round. And again, I'm missing out one because it's going to be blue. And I'm just going to quickly paint that in. Because it's so porous, it will dry quite fast, which is nice. We'll get onto the dotting in a wee minute. There we go. the tip of the brush to get the fine line like that and then pressing down a bit harder in the center so I'm working on just a piece of paper to catch any wee splatty bits splatters that come off okay so I'm just going to rinse out my brush if you find that you'll get wee glittery pieces in your water. It's actually quite pretty. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to change to blue. Just put my nice clean brush in there and again I'm just painting to the edges. Like that. You can actually buy mandala stone sort of plaster casts and they're really round and they'd be really good for this if you're struggling to find a stone that is, you know, nice and round. You can buy these sort of pre-made 
they've been made in a mould out of plaster and they're perfectly round and I think I'm going to try some I think I could actually try and make them with the mould I think you can buy the mould and then you just get plaster of Paris and you pour it in or you can get someone to do that for you and you just buy it already done and I've, I've just had a look at Amazon really Amazon seems to have everything these days I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but it seems to be the way the world is at the moment there we go so if you're doing a few of these you could put the lonesome boat binging on and chill out that will be on the, the YouTube channel as well and uh, <clears throat> I did a wee video of raindrops that I saw falling into the river nearby me where I stay and you get that kind of circular pattern it's quite hypnotic and I quite liked it so I just added that on as well if you fancy having a wee look at that So that's part one finished. I'm just going to let that dry off and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to start to, to add in my dots. And you should have had a wee look at the dot and tutorial. You should be well practised with that. So see you in a wee minute. 